So one easy way for a DIY person to um, apply wall texture is to use a spaghetti roller. Um, this is a Linzer RC19, I believe. If you search for spaghetti roller, it will show up. Got it on Amazon for about eight bucks. Anyway, you just uh, get some uh, joint compound in a, in a uh, little bucket mix it with water and then you roll it on like kind of like paint basically while like you're trying to just apply lumps of joint compound evenly to the wall so here's what happens when you when you do that you can see on my wall I've done this over wallpaper directly over wallpaper and uh, what happens is in areas like this it's pretty good it actually applies joint compound kind of evenly but every once in a while areas like this um, you know, big lumps of uh, of uh, joint compound will will get stuck to the wall. So then, the next step, you basically apply a like a twelve inch knife and you, you knock down the the uh, texture. The problem is when you do when you when you knock down um, this part here, it uh, it basically makes it flat. So if you were to paint it, you would have areas of good texture like this and areas that are just like flat, smooth wall. So one trick that I do, I actually go back after I apply the texture the first time, I take the spaghetti roller when it's dry and I just run it over the top of it. And you can see how I've, I kind of have applied some texture in here. So if I get close, you can see there is texture applied here. That's been, a, that's been made after I, uh, after I knock it down. So let's go ahead and paint it and see what, see what happens. It just kills as my first coat. So let's zoom back in. And uh, you know, that looks pretty good. You really can't, uh, and that is not the paint standing up. You really can't tell that there were areas that were, um, had more joint compound. It looks like a fairly even wall texture. So anyway, I've kind of figured that out through trial and error, but I think it's a pretty good method of putting texture on, but you have to overcome this, this uh, problem when the thick blobs of joint compound get on there. So I do that by hitting it one more pass with the spaghetti roller. Anyway, hope you found that useful.